How's it going guys? It's Red, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest method to get every single assault rifle gold here in Cold War Zombies. Now, this method is going to be by far the fastest way to get all of the assault rifles, specifically gold. But before we get into that, if you're new here to the channel, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more awesome zombies content just like this. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video. So, for your loadout, you're going to want to obviously pick the gun that you want to level up and make sure to have Ring of Fire equipped it as your field upgrade. You're then going to want to make your way into a game of D-Machine, and for the first two rounds, you're just going to want to kill zombies as fast as you can, and as soon as Wave 2 ends, make your way to the top of Penthouse. And this is where the main strategy is going to be. Now, the reason we are going to use this spot over other spots in the game, like the Colonel's Office in Firebase C, or the Tunnels in Mauritor Toten, is because of how little time it takes to get here, and only takes us till the end of round two to get here. This spot also has a faster zombie spawn rate than anywhere else in the entire game. So we are going to be just surviving in the penthouse until round 11 when our first expo becomes available and then we're going to dip. So you don't have to worry about buying perks or turning on power, just stay alive in the penthouse and I know some weapons can become weak fairly quickly into the game and that is why we brought the ring of fire. Now, the reason we are staying up here and just dipping at round 11 is because Cold War actually rewards you for playing on low rounds. So, for those of you that don't know, you get less and less XP per kill as the rounds go on, and it takes a pretty dramatic downfall after round 11. Like, you're still earning XP, but it's so little in comparison to, like, two rounds earlier that it's not even worth playing. Now, I would recommend saving a Ring of Fire for the Expo because it can get a little hectic since you're basically going to have nothing nothing but a bottom tier starting weapon. And after you successfully exfil, you're just gonna wanna rinse and repeat this until you hit your desired level. Now, if you pop some double XP tokens to make this go even faster, all power to you. Now, when you're doing this, you're not gonna wanna worry about any of the camo challenges, just worry about getting the gun leveled up. And we are doing this because all of the challenges for the ARs specifically don't ask much of us except to aim for the head. So once you have your gun to level 50 or somewhere close to there, you're gonna wanna hop into a game of Mowered or Toten and start to camp in the service tunnels right where I do. Now, I do personally prefer this spot over any others in the map. I do think it is just as fast and also safer than any other spot in the map, such as the power room or anywhere like that. And also, it does not ha really have any setup. All you need to do is not open the door next to Mule Kick. Now, when you're in the spot, you should be able to just blow through every camo challenge for all of the ARs. The only challenge that could be trouble is getting 20 kills without getting hit, especially at the higher rounds. And the easiest way to complete this challenge, if you don't already just have it done, is to get Shatter Blast and just train over by the Trials Machine, shoot one shot, kill all of the zombies with Shatter Blast, and all of those kills that Shatter Blast gets are going to count for your challenge. And if you do everything that I showed you in this video, you should be able to get all of the ARs in the game gold in no time. Well, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Make sure to leave a comment down below telling me what you guys thought of this guide. And as always, if you happen to enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more awesome zombies content just like this. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And until next time, it's been Red, and I'll see you in the next video.